Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. I know this is a bit taking a little bit too long, but finally I unlock um, this particular thing, which is a dimensional trimming, dimension trimming. All right, so if you guys are not aware, basically uh, this was released earlier this week in the patch, but the requirement to do this is basically you need to finish up chapter 8, which um, I have not yet done, all right, until today. So I've just completely finished chapter 8. So hopefully, uh, a little bit of delay and also I tried to record some video earlier today and there was a bit of, you know, it's Lunar New Year right here. Uh, so yeah, happy Chinese New Year, happy Lunar New Year to those of you who celebrates. But regardless, now that it's a little bit more quiet, there's no more explosion going on around. So we can finally record a video. So let's go. Let's jump into the first dimensional training, trimming. Uh, gonna see for volcano uh, stages and I'll try to make a guide for you guys. Alright, so let's go dimensional training. Uh, I will show you guys my team at the end. Uh, you know what? Let me just briefly show you guys right now. Can I show it? First team, this is who I'm using. Second team, this is who I'm using. Third team, this is who I'm using. So I don't know if my third team will work or not. So I want to show you guys first. Uh, you know, let me show you guys the gears at the end. Let's see if it works or not. So the first team, I can auto this one just fine. So this one, you just got to burst down the boss. Like there's no like... The mechanics is a bit more complex. Basically, the boss will create this bomb every few seconds, it seems. And the bomb will be all the way... Okay, what is happening? The bomb is usually all the way at your... at right here, right? But the idea here is I recommend you burst down the boss. Use as much strong characters as you can. Castle Seldin, Rearm Orca, right? And then hopefully uh, get rid of the boss before the boss is able to push you back. Uh, right about now, this is going to be scary if I don't do this. Okay. Okay, somebody died. So here's what's going to happen. If your character don't kill the boss in enough time, there's going to be a bomb here. That sometimes will spawn. Okay, you see that bomb just died right there. So that bomb is going to explode and blow up your ship. It's a very annoying mechanic. So ideally, that's the thing that uh, we have to be really careful about. So the second one... The second stage is going to be a bit more tricky. Um, they didn't really explain, like, I wish this game would explain things better. What the mechanics or what the boss do, they, you sort of have to find it out yourself. So basically, as far as I know, this guy right here, he has a healing. So you gotta use Ministra, or you gotta use, like, Lee so to reduce his healing. So if you don't bring Ministra, right, this guy will almost never die. So uh, that's one thing that the game doesn't explain to you. And one more thing that I heard is this boss, the more characters you have on the field, the more uh, you can do bonus damage to him. So highly recommend to use Blue Bridge Mark II. So that's going to uh, enable a bunch of these characters that you have, right? To be able to, uh, you know, do bonus damage to him and reduce his HP. Every one third of his HP go down, he will cast this particular spell where he kills everyone, right? You see everyone just died, uh, which is insane. But you get like bonus regeneration along the way, which is cool. And then he's going to cast it again soon. Every one third of his HP goes down. Okay, then he casts it again. Very annoying for sure. Uh, so it's Rearm Estorosa. I need Rearm Estorosa. Rearm Estorosa is going to be... Oh no, he casts it again. That is so annoying. What the... Oh, that took out so much of my health already. Okay, we gotta wait for the second blue bridge mark to, uh, what is that? Second ability. We're gonna struggle right here for sure. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Blue bridge mark 2 again. Wait, what happened to my cost? I am turning, what, what, what happening? I'm turning off auto. Okay, hopefully we got enough time right here. Uh, again, I try to bring out Ministra, which might not be the best one. If it might be better. But yeah, Rearm Estorosa for as much damage as we can. I think we got this, yeah. So this one you sort of have to semi-manual at the end. The first few seconds you can auto. So hopefully uh, I'm explaining the mechanics right. Okay, now the last one is going to be a little bit tricky. The last one... This one, I'm not sure if I can do it. You need very good gears. Like, very, very good gears. So let me briefly explain what's going to happen here. 
So this guy... Ah oh crap, should I have autoed that? So... Okay, so you... Notice I'm bringing soldier team? So the thing is... He does a lot of bonus damage. Okay, we gotta bring in uh, that... Whatever that guy is. So he's gonna enter this state, this state, you gotta burst him down first. You gotta do enough one bar to get rid of him. Oh, I was able to do it. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta kill him or else, or else, or else your ship is gonna explode. So your DPS has to be so freaking high. You gotta use soldier teams, man. You gotta use soldier teams. I don't know who else you can use. You have limited costs. There's no way you can do that with counter awakened units. Awakened units are pretty much useless right here. Uh, so yeah, uh, dimensional training is something similar to danger close, I guess in a way, where awakened units almost will never get used. This stage I can't do it with any awakened units. Okay, I'm so surprised I was able to do it with this soldier team. So you want to buff matador ship, buff everyone. Emmy rifleman, Emmy sword fighter, uh, Kang, Dorothy, buff the soldier, Chifuyu to decrease defense. So basically, if the boss you don't reduce his HP by one bar. Basically, the boss has three bars, right? Let me turn on my face, can I explain? So basically, the boss has three bar. If you don't reduce the boss bar by one HP during that, that period of that circle duration, the boss destroys your entire ship. You cannot do anything. So it's like a very, very huge DPS check. It's the biggest DPS check I've ever seen in my life. Now, yeah, granted, I was able to do it, which is crazy. Okay, so this is the results, 3,800. So this is how much... Uh, Better statistics, so let's see that's how much I got would be this amount right here. So that's my new record and I got 100 first clear, 26 and 8800. So I don't think there's a way to sweep, so even though, oh, you go to level 2. Okay, previously I was at level 1, so now I'm at level 2, which is like way harder. I'm gonna see if I can do level 2. Uh, I believe level 3 is the highest. But basically, you just want to burst down the same characters per se. So you get 3 tries per week to be able to do this dimension trimming. And I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it yet, because based on what I see, the gears... The gears, right? So let me see. So this is the gear. So I'm just going to craft one and show you guys, and then I'll, I'll talk a little bit. So that's the gear that I got. So we're going to jump into the storage. So that was a soldier gear, the one that I got, right? Uh, again, that's going to be... Now let me... Uh, bring this up and show you guys. So this one, the first option, you can see right now, it's going to be between three things. It's going to be roll advantage damage increase, uh, special skill damage amplification, ultimate skill damage amplification. Now clearly, this is a soldier gear, soldier armor. Now, um, roll advantage damage increase, I think is going to be beneficial. For example, if you are a ranger, now you do more damage against defenders. But as you can see, uh, that's the first option, right? The second option, of course, you can have anti-ground damage rest, uh, similar to all the other armor. The unique thing is the first option. So notice the set option. Uh, let me see if I can show to you guys. This is going to be unique. Now, the set option is what makes it unique. So you can see debuff resistance 10%, and then you get barrier enhancement 20%, anti-air damage resistance uh, 10%, incoming healing 15%, anti-ground damage resistance, uh, range damage resistance, None of these are that good, but if you can get something like anti-ground, 15%, then I can see that being uh, OP, because now you have uh, additional anti-ground, but you need 4 just to get 15% on top of this. So is this worth it? So it's like boosting your anti-ground uh, damage. So most of these you need 4. The only one that you need 2 is melee damage rest, range damage rest, anti-ground damage rest, anti-air, Barrier, debuff, incoming healing. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I feel like it's not that impressive overall. That's just why I feel for the, uh, what do you call this? For this dimension trimming, for the effort that you put in. At least like it's quite difficult, but the gears that you get is barely better. I guess it's just not to power creep and give you options along the way as well. I'm guessing the ultimate skill damage amplification 30%. This can be really good on somebody with like huge ultimate skill, right? Uh, this is like special skill as well. So yeah, I can see some of this is going to be really, really impactful depending. Uh, I don't like how the anti-ground damage is 15%, but the anti-ground damage rest is like 0 out of 2. Whereas this one, you need 4 pieces. Yeah, we'll see. 
Will City is something that you can consider tuning. It's gonna cost 12 gold binaries and by default it seems to be already at T7 as well. Oh yeah, before I forget about the gears. Uh, so this is what I have on the new Detroit and then we have Lina McKinsey, uh, Rearm Orca. So this is why I have full HP with uh, some of these stats right here. So for Castle Selene, attack speed. For uh, Skylay Field, just skill haze, whatever you have. Uh, this one just whatever, attack and spectral chain. A little bit loud, we have spectral chain and attack. Just so that I can combo with the uh, Bomi, doesn't matter, just to activate operator. And then we have Carmen with, I believe, 59% skill haze. Okay, second ship is going to be Blue Bridge Mark 2 with Lee Suyon Operator. So Ryan Oysterosa, full HP, Mace. And then you have Skill Haze on Ministra, 72% I believe. Yep. And then we have uh, Iflit with Spectral Blaze. Okay, so that's going to be the better one. Uh, Young Harim with Antagonist, Skill Haze, 66%. And then we have, uh, this one is going to be Tarask with Mixture of Bullet. Uh, Spectral Spirit on Rita, probably her gear doesn't matter as much. And then you have Chifu, uh, Chinatsu. Sorry, Chinatsu. Oh, I don't have gears on Ans and Zwei. Okay, I didn't know I don't have gears on them. Okay, that's uh, surprising. Okay, uh, Soldier Team. We have Kim Hana to activate things faster. Metador, uh, Veronica. With Spectral Spirit right here. And then we have a HP Evasion on the Admin Swords Fighter. And then we have a uh, spectral chain or whatever, uh, you know, just a bunch of anti defender, anti ground, uh, full HP on revenant, and then uh, anti sniper spe spectral chain, Chifuyu HP defense, and last one Dorothy attack speed, attack speed Dorothy, and of course your Yun for the buff. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that's the sort of a rough early impressions or a rough early guide for you guys. Uh, I'll try to figure something out and see uh, if things are going to, you know, change later on. This is going to be for the volcano one. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.